So I recently got the Whoop Fitness Tracker to monitor my activity, specifically my strain and recovery. This is something the Apple Watch doesn't do. It took around a week to learn my lifting and movement habits before it could properly make recommendations about recovery, the most important being sleep. The Whoop tracks your sleep, telling you exactly when you fell asleep, when you woke up, how many hours of sleep you got down to the minute, and how many of those hours were spent in restorative or deep sleep. The Apple Watch gives similar data, but doesn't give as much detail. Regardless, I've always wondered how sleep tracking on this device and other wearable devices work. I've used mobile apps like SleepCycle to track my sleep in the past. It did a great job, with the only caveat being you have to actively open the app, select when you want to sleep, and click start for it to start tracking. It then uses the phone's microphone to pick up on snoring, movements, talking, and more. When you pick up the phone in the morning, sleep ends. All that makes sense. The Whoop, on the other hand, I wasn't quite 100% sure how it worked. My original idea was that it uses the inbuilt accelerometer or gyroscope within the band, the same sensor that the Apple Watch uses to track motion to determine your activity. My thought process was if you go to sleep wearing the device, the acceleration recorded would be minimal to none. No movement equals sleep. Well, this logic breaks down very quickly when you realize that people move in their sleep, and on the other hand, people can stay still for a decent amount of time and not be asleep, perhaps watching a movie or something else. I dove deeper and deeper into this topic, reading research papers, articles, and more. I didn't quite find how Whoop does it exactly because that's proprietary information. However, I did find some interesting discoveries. For the most part, I was right. Wearable devices use the accelerometer to determine when you're asleep, but they also use other metrics such as your respiration and heart rate, both of which play a key role in determining what activity you're doing. Anytime you wear the device, the data from the accelerometer is constantly being stored and or processed. Your heart rate and respiration are being monitored as well. If you've worn the device for a decent amount of time, it has learned your habit and has determined your resting heart rate. This is essentially what your heart rate is when you're resting and not doing any physical activity, usually laying or sitting down. When your heart rate is around your resting heart rate for an extended amount of time, and the data from the accelerometer reveals a pattern of minimal or no movement in the same time period, then sleep is detected. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then a sub to the channel would be heartwarming. I wanted to test this and see the data, so I got a sensor that measures movement. The sensor measures acceleration in the X, Y, and Z axis. It also measures angles, velocities, magnetic fields, and more. I used a couple of Velcros to strap the sensor to my wrist, the same spot I wear my Whoop and other wearable devices. I made sure it was tight and secure, so it would only measure movements from my hand and not micro movements from the device itself. I pressed record, then it started capturing the data. The first thing I did was to sit at my desk and work for about 10 minutes to get a baseline. I didn't do any crazy movements, mostly typing and moving my mouse around. I then proceeded to the kitchen to make some lunch and eat, trying to mimic normal day movements. I was curious to see how the data would look standing up and moving around. After eating, I took a nap for an hour. Later that day, I got the data from the sensor, loaded them to a Google Sheet and started crunching the numbers. I did a few calculations and conversions and came up with these graphs. First was the data from sitting down and working at the desk. As expected, there isn't much activity here, with the highest data point being around 1.27 meters per second square. There are also a few areas of zero to no movement at all. If we compare this data to the data from when I stood up to get some food, we can see a big difference in activity. It starts off slow initially because most of what I was doing was scrolling through my phone as I waited for the food to warm up. As I started moving around, there was a lot more activity. Comparing the working and eating data points to the sleeping data points, we can see a clear night and day difference. There is an initial activity from walking to my bed, but after that, there is little to no movement at all, other than the occasional moving and turning. My heart rate data tells a similar story. The data from when I worked at the desk is shown here. The range is between 58 and 63 beats per minute. Then we have the data from standing up and doing some movements. This is higher than the data in blue, but not by a lot. The range is between 63 and 69 beats per minute. Finally, we have the sleeping heart rate data that gives the full picture. The max heart rate on this was 58 beats per minute, which is lower than the minimum heart rate for the other two activities. We can clearly see a difference between all three activities. Devices like the Apple Watch and the Whoop are constantly monitoring the data and several other factors, running complex algorithms that have been trained with AI models to determine your activity. It'll be fun to write an algorithm or train an AI model that takes all of this data, 
processes it and tries to determine what activity you're doing. Let me know down in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in watching. The Apple Watch does most of its processing in real time on the actual device itself. This is why you sometimes get a notification asking if you've been doing a specific workout 5 to 10 minutes into the workout. It processed the previous 5 to 10 minutes of data, noticed a change in those metrics and matched the metrics to one of its patterns. The Whoop on the other hand sends the collected data to your phone via Bluetooth to be processed in the Whoop app or on their servers. There's a lag in activity detection if the Whoop app is closed. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, then consider subscribing. If you want to support the channel, be sure to check out the merch store down below or at umacodes.com forward slash shop. Grab a t-shirt, a hat, or a hoodie. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Peace.